Good morning. Welcome to Sunday. Thank you, Mrs. H. May be good enough to take with you to church. Right. <laughs> Happy Sunday and welcome to it. Hope it's uh, finding you very well. Are we straight? Uh, we are, I think so. Right. Okay. An on loan shave, this soap and aftershave from CB Shaves. Thank you, Chris. And this is Holy Core. But I think people are saying you pronounce it Holy Cow, apparently. So we'll go with that today. And if I'm wrong, many, many sorries. Club Yanka. So this contains, I've used their soaps before, I think. Club Yanka Tallow Sierra. Um, and it contains uh, a lot of things I enjoy, such as a woody scent. There's a musk. There's a touch of vanilla, nutmeg, and all that sort of stuff in patchouli, I think. Um, and combined, it's just a what I what I class as a a cologne scent. You know, one of those. God, it's gorgeous. So I'm looking. I'm glad. This, whoops, it's easy. Let's come with it. So uh, we'll be trying that in a minute. Okay, as requested, someone asked about the Fatip Piccolo. Well, I'm using the Piccolo. Uh, I could use the Grand. Could have used the Special Edition, but I've used that last time. I'm going to use this one. The first one I bought, I think this one was. And the only, as I've said before, it's a three-piece, non-adjustable, open comb. And the only difference between this and the Grand is the handle. This one's solid and heavy. The Grand is hollow and light. Here's your hole on there on the Grand. Which you can't do on here. So we're going to chance it again today. <laughs> yeah, you've guessed it. The Persona Med Prep, fourth use. I don't usually do this often, especially in the shave. I'd probably do more if I wasn't filming them. Three on the dice, been used three times. So um, this is the fourth. Uh, aggressive razor, very small, but it packs a punch to be very aware of this. Um, and you have to be comfortable using a short handle, obviously. Very manoeuvrable, I think, but um, that's that. Brush of choice, Yaki 24mm synthetic, the red uh, handle. Just think I should have used my own bowl, it matches that. See the one in the middle there, and there's a gap there, that's terrible, isn't it? Um, I'll tell you what, let's be unprofessional and sort that out now. There you go. The wrong way around, but uh, there we go. Now put some soap in the bottom there. And if you're watching, Chris, I've used the uh, wood um, tongue depressor, and I've taken it from where you'd taken them out before. So it's nice and clean and tidy. All right, let's start this lather. So. Mind you, if you're watching this first thing, it's a bit early to ask, but how is Sunday going for you so far? Goodness. Very well, I hope. And straight away we've got a gorgeous scent. Wow. Um, what I did earlier on, I opened the puck, opened the tub, and I said to Mrs. H, smell that. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> But I gotta tell her, because she looks for the, the aftershave, you see, and she'll put a bit on. But uh, just so she can smell it. And um, sort of, after, you know, an hour or two after. But I had to say, no, this is on loan, so no pinching, please. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that, straight away, so very easy to lather. It's like a crope. God, it's a gorgeous scent from the. From the bowl, that's a nice wake me up on a Sunday morning. Um, I'll wait till I tell you what I'm for dinner. Nothing, you know, don't get too excited, nothing extravagant, and you've never heard me mention before. Just something I thought about, and I haven't had it for a while in this way. But as I say, don't get too excited. Let's wet, wet the face. No pre-shave today. We're we'll going with nature's pre-shave. Adam, Adam's ale. Oh, we've got the old uh, blood and blade on, and hopefully that's not going to be the case. 
But we're always prepared. There we go, look at that. Meringue. No, I'm not going to do it. Meringue. Do you want me to do it? Go on then. So I said to this fella, is that a sponge cake or a meringue? He said, no, you're not wrong, it is a sponge cake. <laughs> it's terrible. Isn't it? Maybe some people of foreign parts would not understand the old uh, British humour in that one, but. Uh, That is absolutely stunning. That is nice. All right, we'll empty that and we'll heat the fatty pickle. As I say, it's a short, heavy weight. No outtake so far in this shave. You may be glad, or not glad to know, dependent. Here we go, first pass. Persona Med Prep, fourth use. Wow, that feels. You'd never say that was fourth use in that razor. This isn't a. Don't get too excited. This is an aggressive razor and I'm just lightly going over and it's just cutting through like it's a samurai sword. <laughs> That is a gorgeous scent. I'm going to probably say that a few times in this, I apologise. I think... Uh, In a way, this blade gets better the older it gets. <laughs> Might be still here at Christmas. Persona Med Prep, 100 to use. <laughs> As I said, don't do it all the time. But I think it's nice to do it in the videos because uh, it sort of reflects what we do in real life, in a way, isn't it? If that's... Um, if that's what you like as well to see, because I like to see that sort of stuff. So you know now this would work, and using it in various razors, adjustables, non-adjustables, aggressive, that type of thing. So let's test this holy cow Club Bianca. Nice slickness. I'm sure that will even get even better. But that scent, if you like me, like a musk, um, woody, uh, there's a slight citrusy in there, there's a sweet, very sweet, very minor sweetness from the vanilla and there's nutmeg. And, but all together, nice. So far. So good. Noticed a few people have been commenting on my other channel that um, it's been suggested. I don't know if YouTube have suggested it, but uh, I did a video of me singing and um, can't help falling in love with you. I did it for a bet with a family member. Twenty-five pounds. They said, I bet you wouldn't sing a song and put it up on your channel, on the other channel. And I give you £25 if you would. And I did. And I won. So, <laughs> never did it again. <laughs> uh, so, here we go.
Oh, that's another thing somebody asked in the comments a while ago. You said you play the piano and the organ, or whatever I think it was. They'd like to see it. Well, I don't have a piano um, or an organ now at home, but it, I am thinking of getting something because I used to enjoy very relaxing, you know, to play. Um, but I did film again on my other channel. I'll try and put the video of that at the end of the shave on the screen. At the end of the shave, it'll be one of the videos. Um, in a chapel in a place called Denby, North Wales. This is Cross the Growth, by the way. Um, I did a charity event for them, like an afternoon tea, and all the proceeds went to a carers and um, for elderly and things like that. Charity, I think it was. And uh, I went to practice. Uh, a few nights, uh, a few nights before the event, that's why. And I filmed it, just filmed a few songs on the piano and then on the church organ itself. Uh, so if you want to listen to that, I'll put it up, as I say, on there to, to hear me playing. Now, I must say, I'm not a musician or make out to be. I can't read music. It's all by ear. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's just how it is um, and I enjoy it when I play like that but, uh, so any musicians out there you'll know it's not the right key or it's not the right you know whatever but, but you'll know the tune hopefully so that's for you if you like it like to see it but don't feel you've got to watch it obviously. nothing to do with shaving is it nothing at all to do with shaving There's another shaver, I think he plays, is this since he shaves? I think, is he that plays the organ? Church organ? For your church you play, don't you? So. Third application, slickness is beautiful. Um, you can feel the aggression in the, in the razor. But as I say, using this blade, it's very, very comfortable. Um, I'm very nice so here we go against the growth and we'll tell you what we're having for the old Sunday dinner against the growth that is nice I'm doing a combination of mash so I'm doing a roast pork joint of meat With crackling, yes, with the skin. And then I'm boiling, uh, steaming potatoes, carrots and swede, or turnip. And I'll be mashing the potatoes, swede and carrots together. With a combination of butter salt, pepper and a bit of cream, only a bit of cream, because there will be some moisture in the carrot and the swede. And lash, oh and some garden peas or broccoli, I got the two, whichever. Uh, one of them with uh, lashentos of gravy, lots of gravy. Which I'll use. Uh, the juices from the meat. Uh, to make the gravy. Got to be very careful against for me because it's very sensitive. This. 
excellent for under the nose. Was on there if I've overdone it. But the slickness has got better and the scent is just gorgeous. Wow, it is slick. That is nice. You know what time it is now? 3, 2, 1, pick up time, baby! <laughs> I wish you could have sort of a smell of vision or something that we could place that through the screen you could grab it have a go of a thick feel yeah wouldn't be very hygienic would it but uh, i think the government would have a fit <laughs> well governments i should say all over the world well, oh yeah mm, might see a couple on here And as I say, no signs of this blade. Uh, starting to lose its edge. on the slickness now. Wow. Oh, just a touch. See? Perfect. Welsh water to rinse, nice and cold. Right. Hey! This is a way to do it. And the reason I'm doing this meal today, it's, you know, I don't know if you get this, or it might be just me. <laughs> I do a lot of odd things. But, uh, it's a, you know, sometimes I get a meal beginning of the week in my head. <sighs> gotta have that, gotta have that. It could be anything. It could be steak and chips with onion rings and mushrooms and peppercorn sauce. Or, oh, that sounds nice, actually. But um, it was just this mixture of... Uh, the mash, the Swede, because we used to have that a lot as children. Um, we called it Ponch Mipe. Um, so and then you have it on a Monday, Friday, and the bubble and squeak and all this type of stuff. But, but it's lovely stuff. But adding carrots to it, I did a while ago, and it's a lovely sweetness to it, to the mash. And with everything combined, it's gorgeous. Yeah, so that's what we look like. Not, not too bad on the... Couple of nicks. I thought I'd done worse here because I went over it a bit too much. I've got to overdo it. My homemade tea tree and witch hazel. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. That's that. Now, my favourite bit again, because this uh, Holy Cow Club Yanker Aftershave. Not sure if you're supposed to shake it, but we'll give it a, just in case. Don't think so. 
Oh, that's nice. It's one of them moments, you know, when I've used the soap and I thought, God, if they did an aftershave to match this, it'd be nice. And nice it is. And I think it's going to be one of those that in about 20 minutes it'll smell even nicer. You know, one of them types. Um, that is nice. And then, to look after this little face of mine, we're going to put some um, Hydra L'Oreal Men Expert. Light's gone out, haven't paid the bill. Hydra Energetic. <laughs> God, these videos are getting poor, aren't they? Moisturising gel for skin and stubble. Good stuff, this. Two squirts usually does, does it. And it's not, not an overpowering scent, so it doesn't uh, dissolve or weaken the uh, aftershave scent, which I... Which I like. Oh, that's gorgeous. Really enjoy that. So, we've used Holy Cow uh, Club Yanka. Absolutely stunning scent. All the scents I like all in one. A very classy sort of cologne scent. Musk and um, woody and all that type of stuff. Beautiful and good quality. The lather really quick. Um, got slick as I used it, so everything, all the ticked, all the boxes, really nice. So thanks for the uh, loan, Chris. Three-piece non-adjustable Fatip Piccolo, the heaviest of the two Fatips, um, with the Persona Med Prep Blade, fourth use, still no issues with the blade. There's a few issues with the shaver, me, but <laughs> overdoing it. But uh, very aggressive, but very efficient and very comfortable. Um, it was a good test for the soap, wasn't it? We've used the fine uh, porcelain lather bowl, the red and white. Can't get them for some reason. I've looked to put a link in, but uh, they seem to have gone. Um, the Yaki 24mm synthetic tuxedo knot with the clear resin-based handle and the not-so-clear top bit there. Very nice. Welsh water to rinse. The uh, homemade tea tree and witch hazel. Some uh, Holy Cow Club Yank aftershave, gorgeous stuff. And the L'Oreal Men Expert Hydra's Energetic Moisturising Gel for stubble and skin. And that's it. So uh, this is going to go now onto this for the blade. Um, what can I say? Fantastic. Really enjoyed the shave. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Sorry there's a waffle on again. Thanks for your support. Um, and I'll see you on Wednesday. The it is Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday. So we'll be at Christmas soon. Anyway, enjoy your day. Have some great shaves. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Happy. I'll see you Wednesday on the midweek shave. Bye bye.